Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Time for another redesign. Today's victims are the one-legged deuce and this old custom of mine, Snow White. So to match Snow White, I'll be making deuce into a huntsman inspired by a ronin. But I also got the idea to maybe do a gender bend, so I asked you all what you guys thought. And well, at the very beginning, gender bend was leading the charge, but then tied and then the original idea won. So let's get started on making Snow White and her huntsman inspired by traditional Japanese clothing. So let's begin with Snow White. For her outfit, I'll be using the kimono and priestess pattern from Rad Dolls on Etsy. And these are the fabrics I will be using. After cutting out all the pieces, I fray check all the edges just to give myself a peace of mind, really. I'll be starting with the kimono. So first, I connect the front and back pieces at the shoulders, then the back pieces along the middle. I then add this gold trim as the collar. I then attach the sleeves to the main piece and then close up the sides and the sleeves, leaving a little bit of room for the hands to come out. And the kimono is done. Until I completely hate it and try again. This time the shimmer side is on the inside of the kimono and I leave the front of the sleeves open and add a red trim all around the edges of the kimono. Next is the skirt. I know it's supposed to be pants, but I change it into a skirt. So I hem the slits and then add the panels to the top of the skirt and then close the sides of the skirt. I also add a ribbon so I can tie it. Next is the kimono shirt, which is the same as the kimono, just a little shorter. The reason for adding this shirt is because I like the layers. look of layers. Onions, Onions have layers. Have <laughs> layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers? You get it. I add some ties and ribbons for the obi. I add some extra details like a gold rose and this little lantern and this clear red stone thing. It's kind of meant to represent the poison apple. I made her shoes off camera mostly because I forgot. So the original custom had some really nice body blushing but it kept chipping away in some parts so I'm going to fix it up and better seal it with some matte varnish so it doesn't chip. Time for the face up. Maybe I can do better than the first time I made this doll. The face up the first time took like four tries to sort of get something that I kind of liked. Not really. So here's hoping I can do better this time. I start with blushing the lips and the cheeks and then I add uh, reds and yellows and orange to the eyes for the eyeshadow and then I start praying that this face turns out okay. I then add the eyebrows and move on to add the liners, the eyes, I add tiny lashes and add some gold paint here and there. Honestly, I'm not happy with her face up anymore. It doesn't match the more realistic face up for the Huntsman, so I might change it. Maybe you'll see a new face up in the final photos. I'm not quite sure yet. The hair is simple. Turn yarn into wefts, weft into hair, and then glue hair to head. And Snow White is done. Time for the Huntsman. I start with the face, just drawing out the basic layout and the beard hair. His face up is a lot easier and came out together perfectly. I add blushing here and there and continue to add more details and to darken. I like how his beard is turning out. For the eyes, I went with brown again. I also add some scars here and there on his face. He is a man who has seen battle and has fought in many wars. He is now in the service of Snow White's evil stepmother, who is a noble woman, aiming for more power, but Snow White is getting in the way. So, so she sends the huntsman to remove Snow White under the lie he is there to guard Snow White and protect her. Little did the evil noble woman know, but something was beginning to bloom. I made enough wefts for his head too and his beard, cause why not? I did a lot of his hairstyling off camera and making his beard because I had no clue what I was doing and just trying to aim for a very specific style, but it turned out perfectly. Let's give this guy some clothes. 
It's the same as Snow White's kimono shirt, just a little bit bigger. Thankfully, Rad Doll Clothes pattern has the boy length too. So I just go through the motions for the outfit. And then I make actual pants for him this time, but the black is on the outside instead of on the inside. And then I make an undershirt because I like layers. Onions have layers. Get it! We both have layers. <sighs> For his belt, I add different wraps and a le leather band. Time to give this guy a leg, a wooden leg. First, I add epoxy sculpt to his leg to make it like a nub kind of thing or a stump. Then I wrap it with tattered white fabric and blush it so it looks a little worn and dirty, which is, I don't know, good or bad. At the same time, I also blush up his body and add scars to his body and his hands. For his wooden leg, I use this leg that fell off gill. I first plug the holes with more epoxy and then cover his toes to make it a smooth surface. I then paint it brown and add some blush and paint the wooden lines. To attach it to his remaining leg half, I use leather to make a band or something that goes over the leg stump. I don't know why I'm putting in so much detail to this thing because it's gonna be covered by his pants and hardly ever seen, but you know, I'm a perfectionist, so everything has to be perfect and look nice, even though it's not gonna be seen. My first try at a sword was wood, but it wasn't good, but I still used it though. My second sword, I made a mold and then I filled it with clay and then I made a handle from stick and clay. Once both were cured, I used a pin to attach the blade to the hilt and then I added more clay to strengthen the attachment. Next, I painted the blade and the hilt. Now, he is based off of a ronin, which normally they have like a straw kind of hat thing. So I make him a straw hat from felt and thick thread. But I don't really like it because it's really, really big and it just covers his hairstyle basically. So it will be a part of him, but I probably won't really use it a lot for him because it's eh. His shoes are just slides that I paint black. And here are the final dolls, Snow White and the Huntsman. He was meant to be her doom, disguised as her protector. After so much battle and bloodshed, his heart is rotten. But this girl is slowly healing the wounds and scars on his heart. Something is blooming in his heart, but he has a task to remove this beautiful flower. But he wants to be her protector and guard her from evil. She has never known the world, locked away within her home. Her only friends are the birds and the animals who visit, and her guardian. He is always there beside her, watching her, making sure she is safe. She does everything she can to make him smile and laugh. She loves his laugh and his smile. He loves her and she loves him. Their love is doomed, poisoned by the will of an evil woman. He vows to protect his flower and Snow White vows one day she will be free and to love her huntsman. Is their love doomed or will they find freedom and happiness with a life together? Sorry, I've been reading a lot of romance books. Anyway, thank you for joining me today in making these dolls were a lot of fun. I wish I could do more for their story, but I ain't making a movie here. 
Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you for the love and support and have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.